All right, folks, we are now in Flagstaff, Arizona, and snow is falling, a little bit of snow on the ground, about an inch, and gas is $3.99 a gallon, and we are headed to the Grand Canyon. We're going to try it, folks. We're going to try to get the Grand Canyon done today. Route 66. Oh, yeah. But I know y'all are enthralled by seeing this traffic jam, but I'm mainly just trying to show you the difference of weather conditions. It was in the mid-50s in Phoenix this morning. Well, yesterday, you know, in El Paso, how warm it was. In El Paso, it was over 70 degrees yesterday. Yeah. And I'm not saying that was, I think that's even warmer than normal for them, but oh, we got a view coming up here, folks. Oh, look at Straight all ahead on those mountains. You know, when we were out here before, we split it up four nights in Flagstaff and three in Tucson. If I was to do it again for a week, I would do it the opposite. I would come up here for a couple of nights. Um, it's just not as much to do in Flagstaff as there is down around Tucson, in my opinion. Uh, Tucson's a short drive from Tombstone, the OK Corral, if you're a Western history buff. All right, we're getting up towards the Arizona Snow Bowl now, and the snow's a little bit thicker, actually a lot thicker. And there's two fields back there where there's hundreds of people out in them playing, having snowball fights. And building snowmen. Building snowmen. It's like people just pull off the side of the road. Yeah, and, and then go play, play in the snow. That's pretty cool. You're just lucky I didn't bring my gloves or I'd be bombarding you with snowballs. Yeah, you probably would be. <laughs> and you'd be doing it right back. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, uh, we were up on Beach Mountain last year and I, my feelings had never been so hurt in my life. Um, we went, drove, I drove her up there to see the snow, took her out to eat, and while I'm recording, I turn around, I get pelted in the chest with a big, it wasn't just a snowball, it was like a snow boulder. <laughs> and, um, you're, you're proud of that, aren't you? I just have, what's this thing close? That, that was probably, no, it's just, That's Wing Mountain. Okay, that hurts slow. I'm going to go up as far as I can go. I'm going to see, is it starting to snow again? I'm kind of a kid when it comes to snow. It's like nobody else is turning up here. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, they actually are. Two yeah. cars just turned. Okay, so we just pulled back. Three over. now. Okay, I'm sorry. We just got to the turning lane quicker. That'd be a good, that sign would be a good spot for a picture for there. We're playing a little game on, for our Facebook friends. Only about six or seven people even knew we were coming out west. So we're taking pictures at random locations, asking them to guess where we are. Change required. Or four-wheel drive. Which we have. Which we have. I don't own a four-wheel drive, but I got one rented, so I'm going to use it. Are we having to pay? I don't think so. Oh, they're trying. Here. Are you guys skiing or snowboarding? No, we're just sightseeing. Okay. So, for, do you have four -wheel you drive. a ticket to get up there today? A ticket. Yeah, so like a lift ticket or... Oh, we were yeah. just going to go as far as we could and turn around. We weren't going really all the way to the top. I know, but I'm not allowed to let go for it. Oh, okay. Well, how do we get a ticket? Huh? How do we get... And do you have four-wheel drive? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so go to snowball.ski and you can order like a gondola ticket. How much were they? I don't know. Oh. I'm not 100... They, they change every day. Right. It's like a sliding scale based on how busy we are. <laughs> busy okay. today. We're right. pretty busy today. <laughs> we are. All right. Well, I'm just going to turn uh, in. Yeah. I'm Thank sorry, you. guys. Did you know that? We have to have a ticket. And well, I'm turning four-wheel drive off, I guess. We don't need that. Well, I'll wait till we get on. Yeah. Out of this. Well, I guess we'll go down here and get us our picture then. Hmm. I don't remember having to buy a ticket last time we were here. So, we're not going to the snow bowl. bad road right here. Ooh. Yep, what a team. Headed back up the road towards Grand Canyon and just enjoying the beautiful ride through the snowfall amongst the Ponderosa Pines. Alright, snow's getting thicker and thicker. We just passed a sign that said we were at 8,025 feet. My GPS is showing 7980. It's, it's a little bit off, but still pretty close. Several inches of snow on the ground here. I am recording out that mountainside that she's got a picture in. 
Why is there so much on the road right here? Just because it blows It's time. blowing, yeah. Say bye to the snow for a little while. That sign wasn't lying when it said blowing snow ahead, <laughs> was it? Snow plow again. All right, we're gonna start dropping now. So, and within a, a distance of just a few miles, the snow is starting to really diminish. And the snow disappeared basically just like that. We can still look behind us and see it. It's like just through those trees. Just through those trees. Wondering. Now it's over. Alright, on to the Grand Canyon. We have arrived. Recording. There you go. There you go. There you go. Alright, we have arrived at uh, Grand Canyon National Park. We're getting ready to pay the entrance fee, which is $35 a vehicle. And we just stopped and had our picture made at the sign, so. And it is cold outside. It is cold. It's 37 degrees. Don't let me forget my coat when I get out. I don't think you'll forget it. <laughs> if you do, you'll be reminded pretty quick you need it. It's windy. Here's the line waiting to get in. See, the Smokies doesn't not charge an interest fee like a lot of national parks mm -hmm. do. And <clears throat> part of the reason, or actually the reason for that, is because when uh, it became a national park, a lot of people who lived in the mountains, like in Cades Cove and other places within the park boundary, um, had to give up their land. So that was part of the promise made uh, for them giving up their land or selling their land to the National Park Service um, or to the government the promise was made that there would never be an entrance fee now as of now there isn't but you know I know it's hard to fathom that the government might break a promise at some <laughs> point but uh, I'll often wonder if there will come a time where there is an entrance fee to the Smokies I hope not no. there certainly is one at the Grand Canyon now, it was $20 when we came in in uh, 1998 that's when we were here last and uh, it's gone up to $35 Okay, after waiting a good 15 minutes in line to pay the entrance fee, uh, which is good for a week, by the way, so you just hold on to that if you pay it and you can come back up to a week. So I guess that's pretty good. Um, so we're now heading, I think it said four miles to Mather Point. Now that's all we're going to have time for today. I would love to take time to go around it. Uh, we've done that before. To be honest with you, Mather Point, in my opinion, is the best view, and it's the first one you come up to. Um, because you're looking at the north rim, which is a thousand feet higher than you are at Mather Point. And there's a, a good uh, store there, all kinds of supplies like hiking, camping, I guess, backpacking, uh, food, refreshments. So, start, start to see a few snowflakes fly. So, I uh, just hope we can see all the way across. But, um, you know, we're going to have to get back down uh, to Seligman tonight and to Williams where we're going to do a little shopping before things start to close. It's almost three o'clock now so we're going to snap some video and some pictures here then head on back to um, Seligman tonight and start Route 66 tomorrow. Okay folks here we are and I'm telling you now 
This video is not going to do justice to this. This thing is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. I remember it being massive, but oh goodness, I've forgotten how massive. Looking at the north rim. Unbelievable. I'm going to walk down to some different vantage points. And I'm going to walk down there in just a moment. Oh, I see my wife. She's waving at me now. She's actually down there. So let's head that way. All right. I finally found my wife. Uh, so, yes, I did. Good. Folks, I'm telling you right now, just this video um, is not going to do this thing justice. And I can't stand here without saying this. There are actually people who believe, sadly, and uh, I'm going to say ridiculously, believe that little Colorado River down there carved this thing. There's all kinds of problems with that. Uh, the least of which is that rivers don't flow uphill and it would have had to have because the top of the canyon is taller than where the river comes in. So, a lot of reasons why, I mean, that's the official line that it was carved by the Colorado River, folks. That was carved by a flood of biblical proportions. That's unbelievable. One final view before we depart. Hey. You know, since I was here the first time, I've told people that uh, pictures and video don't do it justice, it and it don't. But it's—I don't even remember being this big. You talking about that hole in that rock? Yeah, that uh, cave. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks, that's the Grand Canyon. Now on to um, Williams and Seligman Let's just start Route 66. Okay, Shaughnessy, give your thoughts of Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, I know I gave plenty of thoughts while I was out there recording, but we're going <laughs> to... It's beautiful. I mean, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing, just the vastness of it. It just... It yeah. puts you in awe. Yeah. The biggest mistake you can make is to watch videos of it, including this video or any others, or look at a picture and say, I know what it looks like. You you no. really don't. You really don't. No. Um, it's, it's, there's not a word to describe it. Whatever it looks like on the video that you've seen, times that by about 100, and mm -hmm. you might have an idea. Because it's um, when I walked up on it for the first time today, and I've been here before. We went once before, 23 years ago. And even then, I said the same thing. It's it's bigger than anything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess after 23 years, you, you kind of lose uh, your memory of how how vast. Yeah, yeah, not you don't lose your memory, but of how vast it was. Because when I saw it again, I was just as amazed today as I was then. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just like I had forgotten just how massive the thing is. So um, I'm glad we did. And again, the weather was. That's two places. Those are the two places we're most worried about, the weather not cooperating. Uh, you've heard me mention several times that we may or may not get up here today. We did do it. Uh, had to go through some snow around Flagstaff to get here, but uh, we've had awesome views in both places. Oh, yeah, we have. So yeah. uh, we, don't, we don't have to worry about doing it in our last day. Uh, but we've had massive views uh, both places. Couldn't yeah. ask for a better view today. I was going to say, we were wanting to see the Grand Canyon in snow. Yeah, and there was a little bit of snow. A little bit, and then clear, thankfully. And then Sedona, you know, there was clouds, but it broke. You know, a little bit of rain, but yeah, yeah it was good. So we've actually got to see a lot of different weather patterns today. There was not near as so much, much, much snow. Excuse me, I'm too excited. There wasn't near as much snow here at the Grand Canyon as there was back around Flagstaff, but there was enough to make it pretty. Oh, yeah. And obviously, at the canyon floor, it rarely ever snows. It's about 30 degrees warmer on the canyon floor than it is at the top. Uh, very windy, very 
it was, I think it was about 36 degrees, but it was very windy. It made it feel like it was about 20. Yeah, it was very uh, cold. But um, we're heading out of Williams, Arizona. We are getting, I am getting excited and pumped about Route 66. <laughs> Me too. Um, there's a store uh, that we're going to stop at called Addicted to Route 66 in Williams. Uh, start collecting some souvenirs now. So I'm pretty pumped about Route 66. Uh, I've watched a number of good videos on it from other people who've done it before us. And um, if you want some good videos, I'll go ahead and tell you uh, Yankee in the South. I mentioned them a lot. They've got a good one. Uh, there's another guy in California that has a really awesome uh, video of Route 66. Uh, he toured it with his dad. Um, it's, it's called, his channel's Through My Lens. Uh, excellent video on Route 66. Very well done. So, um, but we're not going to hit as many highlights as he did. But we're looking forward to it, producing our own video for y'all to watch. So, uh, stay tuned for more and like and subscribe to our channel. And we would appreciate it.